That was definitely a fish bump. They want it moving faster. That's what I think I just figured out. Okay. I can go faster. Holy shit. That's a big one. What is up everybody and we are back again. Welcome back to another episode of B Fishing and we are here back uh, visiting the uh, the old nuclear plant. Actually, it's a steam plant, not a nuclear plant. Um, Y'all may remember this from the Amazon swim bait challenge where I brought the Amazon swim bait out here. Only ended up getting one fish. We're actually supposed to be trout fishing today below Smith Lake Dam, if you're familiar with the area in Alabama on the Sipsy River. They stock it with rainbow trout. Only place in Alabama that you can really get rainbow trout uh, consistently. But they're pulling water through there and it is up like five feet. It's rushing. You can't get in kayaks. So me and Chris went up there this morning, decided couldn't do that. So we came down here and we're at Locust Fork and uh, it's a chain on the Black Warrior River, feeds into Black Warrior River and we're in our kayaks today. We're gonna go slay them. Chatterbaits, underspins, jigs, and uh, obviously the bandit crankbait. Y'all already know that. That's gonna be the deal today. So we're gonna see if we can't get on some fish. So let's go. folks so this is totally not the plan for today or was not the plan for today we were supposed to be trout fishing today and that plan changed uh, the water is being pushed out of Lewis Smith Lake and below the dam is where the trout are so that water is about up by four foot and it's moving very steadily. So where we were gonna put in was about, I don't know, 14 miles, 12 miles, something like that down from the uh, dam of Smith Lake. And it wasn't happening. We would have to paddle up about two miles to get into the trout. And there was no way you were paddling anywhere forward in, uh, in all that. Hey, I'm gonna go up a good bit. Don't catch one, cause I got the basket. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Why Did I Get Up at 4.30? Well, we've been out here for about 40 minutes. We've seen fish popping everywhere, but we have not figured out what they're eating, how they're eating it. They're obviously near the top of the water, but they're not hitting anything that is one to three foot diving, which is what I was throwing earlier. Now I'm throwing a chatterbait to control the depth a little bit. The water's so clear. I, I really wish, I should probably change to an underspin. I need something with a little bit more of a sleek look um, more subtle and not so in your face like I've got with the chatterbait. And it wouldn't be a fishing trip if I didn't get hung in a tree. I mean, it just ain't fishing if I don't get hung up in a tree. thing is, is you're probably not even that hung. Yep, you're not. You're just being stupid. That was definitely a fish bump. 
they want it moving faster. That's what I think I just figured out. They want the bait moving faster. Okay. I can go faster. Normally she likes it slow, but I'll go fast. Holy sh that's a big one. <clears throat> Woo! Look at that little chunk. That is probably three pounds. You're caught, homeboy. Woo! We got one, boys. You know, my weatherman said it was gonna be clear the rest of the day. Huh? Yeah, clearly raining. Y'all probably got rain. Oh, oh well, the front doesn't. The, or the uh, the chest doesn't. The front does. You got rain all over you. Chris, what are we doing? Huh? What are we doing? Not for, I know what we're doing. Oh. I should ask me what we're doing. So we're filling up the cooler, we're gonna put an aerator in there, and then get the fish out of the basket, put it in there and transport it to the pond. Alright. So I hear that thing pumping. You want the whole thing in there? It's not as long as you're there. It's underwater. Here, we got an aerator for her. Wake up, we're at the pond. Alright, let's get her out. Come here, fish. Open your mouth. I know. Scale is zero. Three point six pounds. Three point six. All right. Thank you, Mr. Official. All right. We want. We just want to see how much, how long you are, girl. I know you're trying to save up to jump. That'd be seventeen. A little stick. All right, folks. Ten sixteen. Number 1016, she's fat. Three five, 17 inches. Three six. Three six. 
Yeah, well, yeah, okay. All right, girl. Welcome to your new home. Y'all can't see, but off she goes, slowly but surely. With her tag, I see your tag. Sweet. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw. Smash the thumbs up and leave me a comment below on what you thought of the video. We got one fish for the day. Actually, we got two. Chris did get a, a small little stripe. Uh, this was an, kind of a, a, a plan B type thing. I mean, we, we, we didn't really have a plan today. We, well, we had a plan, but it kind of got ruined by the, the, the flooding and the rain. Uh, so we ended up at that one place, but we did catch one fish three pounds six ounces and we brought it back to the pond we got it tagged we got it logged so hopefully we can catch her again and she'll be four pounds maybe maybe even five so anyway i will talk to you guys on the next one as always thanks for being the best subscribers on youtube the bee fishing family see ya